What standards should there be for the amount of fish for the size of the pond? Uh, rule of thumb generally is uh, about one to three pounds at the absolute max, maybe two and a half pounds per 100 gallons. And it all depends on the filtration. If you have more filtration, you can have uh, more fish uh, in a pond. Um, like if, uh, if it's a smaller filter, and you're, uh, then you'll be battling, if you have a lot of fish in the pond, you'll be battling ammonia and nitrite and nitrate issues uh, continuously because the filter just isn't adequate enough to catch up with that waste of the fish load. Right. And as the fish get bigger, it gets uh, more of a fish load or more of a waste load in that um, in the pond. So what for those that don't actually want to take their fish out and weigh them, what would a uh, like a 10 to 12 inch koi weigh? Uh, 10 to 12 inch uh, generally would be about a pound and a half or so. Um, so uh, it all depends on uh, some, a lot of the times the uh, females are a little bit more robust, so they might weigh a little bit more upwards of two depending. Um, but the males are usually the long and slender and they're uh, just like arrows, they're a, a little bit uh, thinner. And I, I found uh, through uh, research as well and, and seeing visually that uh, the male koi, uh, the colors are usually uh, quite vibrant in the, in the younger fish, while the female uh, it tends to have the more dull colors and then will come out in time as it gets bigger. And what about for goldfish uh, size-wise? Like, uh, I know the larger goldfish that I've seen or my ponds might be four to six inches and that's right. a fairly General big one. Size, what, yep. what would a four to six inch goldfish weigh? Uh, four to six inch goldfish, uh, they're usually a little bit chubby, of course, um, because they're uh, just uh, growing wide. Um, and the fancy tail, it makes up for a minimal amount of weight, but you'd likely be looking at 0.6 of a pound, okay. uh, 0.6 to 0.7, I'd, I'd imagine, right. for that size of fish. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you'll uh, get the latest videos as I put them out. And before you go, click on one of the other videos you see down below. I've got lots of tips and uh, different ideas on maintaining and keeping your pond healthy and active. Thanks for watching, guys.